Y'all, my hair don't be staying straight. I go to the gym <laughs> like three times a week. Girl, it be reverting. <laughs> if you are new hi my name is shani thank you so much for clicking to watch this video i do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on my channel and i also happen to be a makeup artist so if you're interested in any of that content definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe before you leave so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i've been maintaining my clip-ins for now three weeks i'm basically going to be showing you guys how i maintain it without washing it because I do not wash this hair every week. I've had these clippings installed for three weeks. I've only washed them one time. Um, a couple tapings came out, but if you guys wanna see how I wash it and everything, I will link that video of me washing these tapings in my car. So like I said, I've had these tapings installed for three weeks and I've only washed them one time. One, because it's a lot to wash this hair. But in the meantime, in between time, I use dry shampoo and there's just, I finesse it a little bit so if you guys want to see how I maintain my tape-ins throughout the time that I have had it installed let's go ahead and get into this video please excuse me it's like 4 a.m. in the morning but it's okay I gotta get these intros filmed so let's go ahead and get into this video <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to part two of my maintenance routine. I don't really know what I'm going to be titling these videos, but this is like part two after my wash day with tape in. So yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and get right into it. So I did just come from the gym and I do have a little bit of reverting up here. And this weekend I did go to the club and my hair also reverted under my i think it was under my um wash day routine i got a comment asking um if i could make a follow-up video on how i maintain the hair if i go to the gym like what do i do and what does that whole process look like and this is pretty much what the process looks like like i said i did just come home from the gym um and i also this past weekend i ended up at the club and my hair reverted now i'm the type of tipsy person that will come home and still do my whole nighttime routine i gotta wash my face i gotta get in the shower i gotta wrap up my hair all of that so like i said just came home from the gym so i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up my hair i'm not sweating anymore everything is pretty much dry so i'm just gonna go through brush out the kitchen <laughs> Just like this. I really hope the footage is okay because from what I'm looking at, it looks foggy and I don't know why. So I apologize if the footage is looking a bit weird, but I don't have time to keep messing with the settings and everything on this camera trying to get it to look right. So like I said, I brush out my hair completely and I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Sometimes I'll blow dry it out and then do what um, I'm gonna do after I get out of the shower. But since I just came from the gym, I'm just about to wrap my hair up um, and do that whole process after I get out of the shower. So this video is very um, real life right now because this is what I do. Um, I didn't schedule like a designated filming day to do this. This is like, this is real time. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna keep wrapping my hair. And I'm using these little clips to just hold it in a wrap. And then I'm going to take these things that I got from, this is actually my best friend's and she left it over here. This is mine and I got this from my first wigs, I think, years ago. I, literally years ago. Um, so, I started off with this one because it's bigger and I just take it over the wrap and then I'm gonna take the clips out so um, I don't have no dents in my hair. And then I just pull them out the way my hair is wrapped. So if it's wrapped this way, I'll pull the clips out this way to make sure 
you know, my hair stays wrapped. Here's another one. I'm gonna do this just like that. And this is also what I do when I have like a silk press. A big part of me having or keeping my hair looking like it hasn't reverted is my extensions. If I didn't have extensions in my hair, it will, my hair will look a mess. Well, I don't want to say it will look a mess, but the extensions really, um, really help with making my hair look like it's still, you know, straight. So when you guys ask me like how I keep my hair straight, I'm just like, I don't, it's not straight at all. And I don't do this every day at all because I don't want you guys to think that I put heat on my hair every single day. The heat aspect of this video, I only do that when I'm filming content because I am a full-time content creator and I also work outside of YouTube. Um, but I don't really be doing my hair for work like that. I'll put my hair in a um, ponytail or a clip. So I'll put the second one on because it's a little bit tighter. And then I'll go in with this bonnet <laughs> that I got from Curls Queen. And this is the only bonnet that stays on my head. I just got this bonnet um, probably a month ago when Curls Queen was sending me the items to film for them. Um, this video isn't sponsored by Curls Queen, but my install video was sponsored by Curls Queen. This is not, but this bonnet actually stays on my head. It has like this little drawstring and you can tighten it or loosen it and I just tighten it and I'm amazed that this bonnet stays on my head so curls queen really did that with this one I'll do my googles and try to find one for you guys and link it down below but when you order the tape pins from curls queen it comes with all of this stuff so yeah all right where is my shirt cap give me one second like I said this video is happening in real life. So give me a second, I need to find my bonnet. Did I say I needed to find my bonnet? I don't know, but I found my shower cap that was on my bed. And then my spa headband, I don't know what it's called, but I put this on my head as well to kind of catch the water. You guys will get what I'm doing as I explain it. So I put this on my head and just push the on it back a little bit because for some reason I don't like stuff covering my ears plus I like to wash my ears when I'm in the shower so this is on and then I'll put this first shower cap on because it kind of fits over my head and then I put this one over it because this one is too small so I don't know I just put two shower caps on so yeah, now I'm just going to get in the shower and I'll come back to you guys when, of course, when I get out of the shower. I'm not going to get a clip of me in the shower because I don't feel like moving this camera and changing the lighting and everything. That's just a little bit too much for what I'm trying to do today. Plus, I have to work in the morning, so I need to wrap this up. But what I did want to say before I get in the shower, because I don't want to forget anything. <laughs> so after I get out of the shower, I do not take... I do not take this off until it is completely dry. If it gets wet in the shower, I don't really care. Um, but after I get out of the shower and I notice that it's wet or I notice that I'm sweating, I do not take this off until my body has cooled back down and um, this has dried completely down. I don't take it off. I keep it on. I go eat breakfast. I go eat dinner. Whatever I have to do, I keep it on. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. So let me go ahead and get me the shower and I'll be back. Now that I'm out of the shower, the first thing that comes off of my head is the shower caps. As you guys can see, the shower caps aren't on my head because when I step out of the shower and I walk out of the bathroom, I take the shower caps off so that the moisture or sweat or whatever is under the shower cap, I don't want that moisture to get stuck under the shower cap. So that's the first thing I take off of my head. The only thing that stays on my head is like the bonnets and everything and um, the spot band. The spot band does not come off until I feel like my body has cooled back down and I'm done sweating 
or I don't take the sweatband off not sweatband I don't take the spot band off until I feel like it's dry like maybe like 80 to 95 percent dry now if I do have any type of reverting I will go in and blow dry it out which I will show you guys but right now I'm gonna go ahead and dry shampoo my hair just because I feel like it's getting a little way down I ended up at somebody's club sweated it out and I do go to the gym often and y'all know how it be in the gym. So yeah, let's get into dry shampooing my hair. And the one that I'm currently using is Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo in the Toasted Coconut Fragrance. And it smells so good. I first like to start off by spraying my Demon brush with the dry shampoo and then brushing it through my hair. And then I'll take the dry shampoo and directly spray it on my hair. Um, and kind of like massage the dry shampoo in it basically what the dry shampoo is doing for me is soaking up the oils and bringing that flowy life back to my hair do you get me so i'm just going to do that and continuously just spray my hair with the dry shampoo brush it out until i feel like the excess oil has been absorbed all right, so now I'm gonna go into parting my hair. Y'all know how you go in and grease your scalp and part your hair to grease your scalp? That's basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna part my hair or section off my hair and get all up in, in between the tape ends and dry shampoo um, my hair because I feel like I didn't get all of the oil that I can get. I want this product to suck up as much oil as it can, so sectioning off my hair and parting it and dry shampooing in between every section is what's going to really like bring my hair back to life so that's what i'm doing and this is how the hair is looking once i finish that whole dry shampoo process it's looking real nice real fresh and clean it's looking fluffy not weighed down <laughs> Now moving into using the blow dryer, blowing my hair back out. I use this when I feel like my hair is reverting. Like I'm saying, I've been to the gym, I've been to the club. Y'all know, natural hair does what it's going to do, okay? So it's going to revert at some point. What I be doing is blowing my hair back out. I don't technically straighten my hair all the time. I just be using a blow dryer on medium heat and i just blow my hair back out and then i just tap my edges with the root straightener that y'all be seeing me use that's why y'all probably think my hair be staying straight y'all my hair don't be staying straight i go to the gym <laughs> like three times a week girl it be reverting <laughs> but y'all really don't be seeing that because i do it off camera um not that i'm trying to like hide or anything like that it just be like oh it's reverting let me go ahead and straighten it back out because majority of the time it's because i have to do something i have to run out of the house and i'm not about to be running out of the house looking crazy you know what i'm saying so i just do what i have to do blow dry it and but pause y'all see the nozzle keep falling off the blow dryer that's why i want to try out a different blow dryer because this begin on my nerves so i just took my dimming brush and just started blow drying my hair um, I was probably definitely damaging my hair doing this, but I ain't care. Um, call it heat damage, call it whatever you want to call it. My hair still curls up. Yeah, it might be heat damaged, but like, I, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't. Um, that's another reason why I want to get that Dyson. I know y'all been seeing in my vlogs that I've been looking at that Dyson blow dryer. And this is why, because I keep putting heat on my hair and I've heard that the Dyson blow dryer is a lot healthier for the hair. And I still be wanting my curls, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to like OD on the heat damage. Um, but when I want my hair straight, I want it straight. When I want it curly, I want it curly. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like I want to get that blow dryer. Anyways, back to what I'm doing in the video because I definitely got sidetracked. I'm just going to pin my hair up and out of the way because I'm about to straighten out or press out my um, the nape of my neck, the back of my neck, the kitchen, whatever you call it. I'm just going to straighten out my roots. And when it comes to the perimeter of my head, my edges, if I need to straighten it back out, I'm gonna straighten it back out. I don't really care about the heat damage when it comes to the nape of my neck or um, my edges in the front of my head because they literally curl right back up no amount of heat will damage my edges <laughs> i don't know why that's funny to me but like yeah it'd be curling right back up so i always you know do a little one two hit it a little bit in the morning 
with this root straightener because it doesn't get heat damage and it curls right back up plus this root straightener does not go to a high heat i honestly think it stays at like maybe 325 it it doesn't get hot well it is hot but it doesn't get super hot like my flat iron like my flat iron goes up to like 450 i think this straightener just goes up to like 350 maybe 325 but it doesn't feel hot at all as you guys can see i'm not flinching or anything like that so i'm just pressing out my edges and once i finish that you know, I'm going to see how everything is looking and I'll just pinpoint areas and wherever it needs to be straightened, I'll go ahead and straighten it out. Okay, so now that my hair looks like I've done a fresh silk press, like look at me, look at the hair, look at the material. I'm going to go in and flat iron curl my hair. Um, Y'all have seen me curl my hair multiple times, so I'm not even going to explain what I'm doing really. All I'm going to say is that I curl everything away from my face and pull in a downward motion. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair um, and just let y'all watch that whole process. And y'all, please excuse the deodorant, the excess deodorant that's up under my underarms. Native really like did the most this day because like why is it sitting up under my underarms like that? It'll never be up under my arm like that. But on the day that I'm filming, it won't be visible. Wow, native, you really like played me low key. So clearly I was not feeling the curls. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to use my flat iron to do the curls when usually I like to use the curling iron that's 1.5 and a half inches if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I didn't like the curls, but it was too late at this point. I wasn't putting any more heat on my hair. So I just took thick sections of my hair and put them in rollers um, just to stretch them out a bit. I didn't want to do small sections because if I had put my hair in small sections with the roller, it would in the morning, it would have came out um, even tighter and I was not doing that. So I took thick sections, just put my rollers in and called it a night because I just took 30 minutes to curl my hair with a curling iron, not curling iron, with a flat iron. Um, and it didn't come out how I wanted it to come out. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it in rollers and call it a night. Okay, so it's the next day and I decided to take down the rollers and put my hair in um, some flat twist after I recurled it with my Babyless Curling Iron. And then I just took this wand curler to stretch out and curl specific spots in my hair. If the curl looked wonky, I just took this and like, you know, curled it the proper way. And then I took my extra mega hold edge control and laid down my edges and this is how my flat 
curls my flat pin curls whatever you call this this is how the hair was looking so let's just go ahead and take it down and see how it came out And that is pretty much the takedown process. If I feel like my hair looks a little dry, I'll add a little bit of frizz dismiss in it to make it a little shiny, but pretty much this is it. Now moving into how my tape-ins are actually looking like after a wash day, after three to four weeks of wear, this is how my roots are looking. I didn't really get to straighten the root of my hair because I really couldn't get to it, which I really didn't mind because all of the other parts of my hair are straightened it's just the root that I could not get to um maybe if somebody else was doing my hair well I, I already know if my stylist was doing my hair it would have been straightened but me it was a lot for me to do so I was just doing what I could um but yeah this is how my roots are looking um I didn't really experience any damage at all in my opinion um it wasn't uncomfortable the only thing that was probably uncomfortable is when i first got them installed and they were closer to my scalp and then once my hair started to grow out a little bit and slide because i did wash my hair and some of the tapes did slide you know so that's why you guys see some of the tapes a little bit further down um yeah i didn't really experience any discomfort um it was easy to sleep in i didn't have it literally feels like a weightless clip-in um that's the only thing that i can compare it to because y'all know I really like a good clip-in but you know sometimes clip-ins can be a little bit uncomfortable depending on how you put them into your hair and me personally I do feel like I put my clip-ins in like a tape-in so these tape-ins really remind me of a clip-in but weightless which is why I keep comparing the tape-ins to a clip-in you can put them up in a ponytail everything is seamless it literally this is my hair like you can't tell me that this is not my hair <laughs> i can put it up in a ponytail i can put it up in a high ponytail and it's weightless there's no bumps everything lays flat do you hear me and then i can put it up in a top knot if i want to the options are just endless with tapings because it's like your hair it's super versatile is lightweight now of course you have to be mindful of how tight you put your ponytail in because these are tape-ins attached to your natural hair so you still want to be delicate because you don't want to end up ripping your hair out and honestly with this style i really don't think anybody should be experiencing any discomfort if you do experience any discomfort it's probably because the tape-ins are they're ready to come out um, or they just weren't put in properly. I'm not a professional, okay? This was my first time having tape ins. Pause because why do I say discomfort like that? Anyways, I'm just showing you guys how I wear my hair to the gym. Um, I do have a sweatband that I put on my edges, but honestly, um, I still be blow drying my hair out like you guys saw if there is any reverting. Um, but this is how I wear my hair in the gym. And I didn't really have too much problems with my hair reverting because the tape-ins are a curly texture and they match my, well, not curly texture, they're a curly pattern and they match the texture of my hair. So a big thing that I think um, will help with you blending your hair is just make sure you find um, tape-ins that match your texture of hair. If you have coarse hair, make sure you find tape-ins that are coarse in texture um you don't necessarily have to get curly tape-ins because my hair doesn't match my curl pattern doesn't match the curl pattern of the tape-ins but the texture of the tape-ins um blend very well with my hair one thing that i did find annoying about these tape-ins though is that i felt like the hair was not staying straight i felt like it wasn't holding a curl and i felt like it just took too much to blow this hair out and keep it straight even though they look really 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 good 
doing this at the house by myself or just maintaining my tapings at the house by myself was a little difficult because it took me a long time to wash this hair, blow it out and straighten it. And then I kept running into an issue where I felt like it just wasn't blowing out properly. Like when it comes to my hair and I blow it out, it blows out and it stays blown out. You get what I'm saying? But with these tapings, I felt like I had to keep blowing it out. If that makes sense. It just took me a while um, to do that, which honestly has everything to do with the type of hair that I got, which is why in my wash day video with these tapings, I told y'all I would probably not do this texture again because it was just too much, girl. It was, it was way too much for me. Y'all know I don't have a lot of hair. So the fact that I had to wash all of that hair, blow it out, straight, it was just too much, okay? So I would probably do a looser curl pattern than this because this is like a three- a 3b 3a whatever it's a type 3 curl pattern blown out um and that was just too much for me so i would probably go with something a lot looser so that i can still have that texture look without having to do so much work so yeah enough about that i just put in some pin curls just to show y'all how i pin curl my hair these are a lot more comfortable to sleep in um and this is just another way that i preserve the curls because i am not putting a curling iron and my hair every single day i'm just not doing it um so this is another way that i preserve my curls and now i'm just showing y'all another style that i did with my tape ends which was really cute it's like this up down style has a high ponytail the back is out and then i have a side part bang but yeah i think this is a go if you can afford it i would definitely recommend trying these out because a sewing can never okay a clipping can never but you know, I still be rocking with my clip-ins though. I'm just biased because I really, really like clip-ins and the longevity of it. And with the clip-ins, I can install them myself and I have to pay anybody. I don't mind paying anybody to do my hair. With tape-ins, I'm going to pay somebody. Because I'm just not going to set myself up to mess up my hair and cry in the process. Because even though I be doing my hair on YouTube all the time, I'm always doing something to my hair. I really don't like doing my hair. Yeah, do y'all not see that I really be doing the bare minimum when it comes to my hair? Come on. And you think I'm about to put some tape-ins on my hair? Absolutely not. I'm going to keep that to the professionals. I will tag my stylist down below. I will leave her booking site as well. If you do want to book with her, you do have to book a consultation first because she cares about the health of your hair before you get tape-ins. She want to see you know what's going on in there. And shout out to Curls Queen for providing this hair. No, this video is not sponsored at all i just wanted to do this video because you guys have been enjoying the tape in content so that's why i wanted to put it out so yeah that pretty much sums up my experience with tape ins um if i have anything else to say i'll try to link it down below i do have a removal video um but i'm not sure if that came out good girl i removed my tape ins with alcohol i'm not sure if i was supposed to do that but did no hair come out so that's what i did um <laughs> But yeah, if you guys have any more questions, just let me know down below and I will try my best to get back to all y'all, okay? Just know I'm not a hairstylist, by the way. I'm not licensed at any of this, okay? I just like to be cute. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you still have any more questions for me, leave them down below. If you haven't already watched this video, that's gonna pop up on the screen. Definitely check this out and let me know what you guys think about it. I'll probably put the um, my wash day with tape ins right here. So if you haven't already seen this video, definitely check it out. And oh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all soon.